Hi, welcome back to the Grammar Park channel. This is Sharanisha. This session is about modern fiction from Unit 8. Modern fiction. Modernist literature was a predominantly English genre of fiction writing, popular from roughly the 1910s into the 1960s. Modernist literature came into its own due to increasing industrialization and globalization. New technology and the horrifying events of both world wars made many people question the future of humanity. Modernist fiction spoke of the inner self and consciousness. Instead of progress, the modernist writer saw a deadline of civilization. Instead of new technology, the modernist writer saw cold machinery and increased capitalism, which alienated the individual and led to loneliness. Most modernist fiction was cast in first person, whereas earlier most literature had a clear beginning, middle and end, or introduction, conflict and resolution. The modernist story was often more of a stream of consciousness. Irony, satire and comparisons were often employed to point out society's ills. In this modern fiction, some of famous modernist writers include Samuel Beckett, James Joyce, Joseph Conrad, T.S. Eliot, William Faulkner, John Steinbeck, E. E. Cummings, Sylvia Plath, F. C. Scott Fitzgerald, William Butler Eats, Ezra Pound, Ernest Hemingway, Virginia Woolf, D. H. Lawrence, and Gertrude Stein. From the above list, two specific works that epitomize modern literature are Faulkner's As I Lay Dying and Virginia Woolf's Mrs. Dalloway. There is a one way to understand the modern novel is to show its development in the work of writers such as Joseph Conrad, Marcel Proust, James Joyce, Virginia Woolf, Franz Kafka and William Faulkner. Let us see about them one by one. The modern novel, in other words, has an epistemological thrust, a dynamic questioning of what its characters know and how they think they know it. Here, epistemological in the sense, the part of philosophy that is about the study of how we know things. Stream of Consciousness Stream of Consciousness is a continuous flow of ideas, thoughts and feelings as they are experienced by a person. A style of writing that expresses this without using the usual methods of description and conversation. This term was coined by Alexander Bain in 1855 in the first edition of his The Senses and the Intellect. First used by the psychologist William James in his work The Principles of Psychology which was published in 1890. As the psychological novel developed in the 20th century, some writers attempted to capture the total flow of their characters' consciousness rather than limit themselves to rational thoughts. Popular writers who used the term stream of consciousness in the English literature, they are William Faulkner, James Joyce, Marcel Proust, Jack Kerouac, Joe Sarmago, Samuel Beckett, Fyodor Dostoevsky, Tony Morrison and Virginia Woolf. Virginia Woolf is known for using this term stream of consciousness in her writing. The novel Mrs. Dalloway follows the thoughts, experiences and memories of several characters on a single day in London. The modern novel in other words has an epistemological thrust, a dynamic questioning of what its characters know and how they think they know it. It is perfectly used in her novels. The basic elements of modernism appeared in Joseph Conrad's early work completed before First World War. Conrad experienced the sort of displacement and disorientation that are the hallmarks of high modernism that is of novels that inquire into the foundations of civilization. This was the time when Charles Darwin, Karl Marx and Sigmund Freud first began to undermine the Victorian confidence in a coherent universe. Conrad grew up in a Russian-occupied Poland, the son of an impoverished Polish nobleman who wrote political plays and was persecuted by the Russians. Conrad left his native land and went to sea, deciding several years later to re-establish himself in England and pursue writing as a career. Conrad doubted the Victorian notion of progress. 
his novels such as heart of darkness which is the famous novel of him reminded the british that their island nation had once been a part of the roman empire and that the british moment in history its pride in the achievements of imperialism charlie marlow and coots are the important characters in the work heart of darkness charlie marlow conrad's narrator in heart of darkness victory and other works is a quint essential quint essential in the sense perfect example modernist because he cannot complacently accept civilization like his contemporaries he questions 19th century hero worship which led romantic and victorian writers such as thomas carly and ralph waldo emerson to argue that history is made by great men and that history itself is just the sum of innumerable biographies of great men goods in heart of darkness sets out to become one of these great men and it is marlow's task marlow in the sense charlie marlow the character narrator task to discover why goods fails not merely as a person but as a representative of a western civilization attempting to bring its values to the so called savages in africa while the people are a savage how he can be a successful person by spreading the western civilization the great tradition of 19th century was realism the novelist attempted to accurately convey the world and render its complexity the next writer is marcel proust like conrad marcel proust grew up in an atmosphere of societal upheaval proust could describe a town a group of people a country setting in the manner of a realist Proust was not merely imitating nature to render an accurate picture of it rather he heightened the sense through an exquisite attention to style diction imagery and the rhythm of his prose Proust's masterpiece is The Remembrance of Things Past which was published in 1913 is a standard modernist work which was focusing on time and history as subjects in themselves in proust's human identity itself becomes a product of language and thus the artist becomes not merely a reporter as in the realist tradition but also a symbolist that is the writer focuses on those subjects scenes and anecdotes that are shaped to define the way his or her characters live and think of their lives our next writer is james joyce in a portrait of the artist as a young man which is a famous work james joyce extended the proustian proustian effort to render reality as it appeared to human consciousness by resorting to different linguistic registers with their own vocabulary and grammar thus the child stephen didalus emerges with his own language in the opening passage about a new cow Joyce is not merely describing a child's world of picturing that world from the child's point of view as Charles Dickens does in Great Expectations. Joyce inhabits a child's world using the child's words and phrases to create a sense of immediacy of what critics have called a stream of consciousness. Reality is not there to be observed but rather to be created in the child's mind. Joyce's stream of consciousness is a non-linear narrative. Joyce focused his novels on contemporary society and it could be argued from a male point of view. Notwithstanding his sensitive creation of characters like Molly Bloom and Gritty McDowell in Ulysses, one of Joyce's contemporaries, Virginia Woolf, wished to remake the modern novel so that it more fully reflected women's creativity in narratives that questioned the conventional ordering of history and traditional gender relationships virginia wolf she is the famous and important writer virginia wolf sought to bring the full weight of women's concerns and talents to the development of the modern novel she rejected the rigid hierarchies of a male dominated society and sought in her own fiction to portray women as proactive as makers of the world she admires admired of women writers and artists such as contemporaries rebecca west and vanessa bell it is her sister 
and based her eponymous heroine Orlando. Orlando, it is a biography which was published in 1928, is a quintessential modernist novel that violates the standards of realistic fiction even as it is mimics and burlesque biography, one of the most conventional literary genre that depends on linear development and chronological storytelling. Franz Kafka the phantasmagorical aspects of modernism take on even greater political dimensions in Franz Kafka's novels, especially the work Trial, which was published in 1930. Phantasmagorical means it is the form of horror theatre. One of the most influential modernists is Franz Kafka. He explored the terror of 20th century society in which an individual could be accused of nameless crime as mentioned in the trial and succumb to the bureaucratic maze of figures and institutions that prosecute him or her. The trial and the society seems like a modernist hell because there can be no standard of judgment, no principle of justice, no ethical code by which everyone is measured openly and fairly. Thus Kafka elaborated the modernist attack on universal truths and obliterated. Obliterated means removed from existence. The basis on which society had been organized since the Enlightenment. Kafka's novels verge on nihilism. What is meant by nihilism? It is the viewpoint that traditional values and beliefs are unfounded and that existence is senseless and useless. Nihilism, the conviction that there is no meaning in the universe. Kafka was an original because his work reflects this nihilistic tendency in a logical and non-linear structures. The next most famous modern writer is William Faulkner. William Faulkner's classic modernist novel, The Sound and the Fury, which was published in 1929, would seem to be a gloss on Kafka's nihilism. The novel is narrated both by an idiot named Benji and by his highly intelligent brother, Quentin, a Harvard student who commits suicide after being tormented by a world that will not conform to his heroic expectations. The third part of the novel is narrated by Jason, the crass and cynical brother who survives on sarcasm. The language of the novel is brilliant not only because Faulkner finds such distinctive voices for his narrators but also because each narrator represents a different way of looking at the world. In Faulkner's novels, the search for meaning is heroic and failure, while it is frequent, nevertheless conveys uncertainly nobility in human efforts to comprehend the world. So far we have seen the modern fiction, how it has developed according to the age. Let us see the remaining portions in our another section. To watch more videos like this, subscribe, share and press the bell icon. Thank you and keep watching.